monotone subsequence theorem now this theorem says essentially that every sequence possesses a monotone subsequence every sequence possesses a monotone subsequence so let me give you an example now suppose there is a new year celebration in mumbai and mumbai government has you know organized a fireworks show in the you know middle of the sea okay then everybody would like to watch it right now everybody would like to watch it standing on top of the building so that they can you know view it uh, clearly okay so now buildings will have different heights right buildings will have different heights like this okay x1 x2 x3 these are the heights of the buildings okay so this is this denote height okay and there is your c now firework is happening so you would want to stay away from the firework and also on the top of the tallest building okay so you would want to stand on the tallest but away from the firework as well now if you watch from the nth tower you would want the heights of xm towers okay heights xm of other towers in front of xn to satisfy the following that is the height of any building in front of you should be lower than your height okay and the serial number of the building serial number of the building should be greater than such that the serial number of the building is greater so height is uh, you know now 3 is greater than 2 okay and height of second is greater than height of this okay so this is what you would like to get started this is just an example so now let us formally prove what we are trying to say now so we have say a sequence n plus 1 okay let this be a sequence okay now we will call these dominant dominant terms call dominant terms okay term a n a m of the sequence such that a m is greater than or equal to a n for all n greater than or equal to m okay is the same thing that we have written out here okay am is greater than or equal to an for all n greater than or equal to n so height xm okay if you are standing on the mth building then height xm is greater than height of any you know n numbers of towers for all serial numbers uh, n greater than uh, your serial number okay you would like that thing to happen so basically we are talking about term am which who is greater than or equal to all terms after that after that okay now so you can have two cases now this is basically a set of terms okay set of terms natural numbers such that am is greater than or equal to an okay for all n greater than or equal to m okay so you can have one case where this set is finite and the other set where this can be infinite so what we can say is that the sequence this is a sequence the sequence one case is that the sequence a n n greater than or equal to 1 has infinite infinitely many dominant terms okay it can have infinitely many dominant terms so we can list 
by the increasing order of their subscript so we can we list them list them by increasing order of their subscripts subscripts okay so we can say am is greater than sorry am1 is greater than am2 is greater than am am3 uh, sorry in fact i've written it we are writing it as increasing right so these are increasing order these are increasing order of subscripts okay they all are dominant they all are dominant so they all are dominant sorry i went wrong there they all are dominant terms okay all are dominant okay so these all are dominant terms now i can say that you know as each as each of them as each of them is dominant in fact as each of them is dominant and these are basically terms in in that set right okay so what we have we will have that each of them is greater than or equal to itself um, a to the other so each of them is greater than or equal to the other okay so a m 1 is greater than or equal to a m 2 which is greater than or equal to a m 3 okay and so on and so forth greater than or equal to a m k greater than or equal to other terms also whatever so we have constructed actually a decreasing not increasing decreasing it's an increasing order i wrote so this is basically a decreasing okay because these are the increasing order so this is decreasing sequence so we have created so we have a decreasing subsequence subsequence of a m so this implies that subsequence is monotone so a n has a monotone subsequence which is decreasing okay so it has a monotone subsequence now case number two where you know the sequence a n the sequence a n has a finite finite number of dominant terms dominant terms okay if you have finite number of dominant term that is s is finite the set s is finite then what we can write we can again list in increasing order list them in increasing order so that would be say m a m1 a m2 so on and so forth a m k all these are dominant okay all these are dominant and since since a m k is the last dominant term dominant term or the last peak term okay it's the last dominant term therefore any term after that a m k plus 1 okay a term after that would be a m k plus 1 is not dominant right is not dominant okay now so therefore this will imply that there exist n1 there exists say n1 greater than mk plus 1 such that 
a n k plus 1 is actually less than a n 1 okay a n 1 now but a n 1 is also not dominant right in 1 is also not dominant it's also not dominant so therefore there exists some other term n2 greater than n1 such that a n1 is less than a n2 and the sequence moves on like this because a n2 is also not a dominant term so we can continue like this and construct so we can construct terms like a n 1 which is less than a n 2 this is less than a n 3 and so on and so forth less than a n k okay which is less than so this is essentially now this term is smaller than this this term is smaller than this that is an increasing subsequence so this is an increasing subsequence of a n so even in this scenario what do we have therefore this implies monotone subsequence okay so a n has a monotone subsequence so whether this set is infinite or finite okay in both the cases the uh, sequence has our sequence has a monotone subsequence readily available within that 